Welcome to ShowMeTheCurry.com. I'm Hethel. I'm Anuja, and today we're going to show you how to make a very yummy and popular dish, butter paneer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's I think it's synonymous with Indian food and and restaurant style. And but, uh, kids love oh, it. Oh kids my love God. it. Oh, everybody everybody loves, loves love it too. No, it's one thing that just I think everybody loves. Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. doesn't like it? And you know, I think it's one of those dishes that you always go to a restaurant, even though you, we make it at home, we still, whenever we do go to Indian restaurants, we still order, still order it. it. Yep. Go figure, right? <laughs> so today we're going to show you how to make it restaurant style. So no holes barred, it's just going to be plain deliciousness. <laughs> Yumminess and easiness. So it's a pretty simple recipe, you'll be surprised. So let's get started. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that bell button because anytime we post a video, you'll be the first one to know. You don't want to miss out on these lovely videos. So in a saucepan on medium heat, we're going to add five large tomatoes. And to that, we're going to add green chilies to taste, one inch piece of ginger chopped, three large garlic cloves, a little bit of salt, and one cup of water. Now we're going to allow this to come to a boil and basically cook till the tomatoes soften. This looks really good. Now we're going to just turn off the flame and we're just going to transfer it and blend it. So we have a medium sized pan on medium heat here on the stove and in the pan we have two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of oil. And we're going to allow them to heat up. Once the oil is hot, we're going to add in one bay leaf, cinnamon stick, two green cardamoms, one large cardamom, and five cloves. And we're just going to mix it in the oil. These aromatics flavor the oil. That's why we add them ahead of other ingredients. Half teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds and allow them to splutter. And to that we're going to add one tablespoon of ginger and garlic. And just 30 seconds in the oil. We're going to now add in the tomato uh, paste that we ground. So now we're going to allow the tomatoes to cook down and reduce and kind of make it into a nice thickish sauce. So our mixture has been cooking for about 10 minutes and it's cooked down into a nice beautiful sauce. To this we're going to add some spices. Half a teaspoon of red chili powder or to taste. One teaspoon of Kashmiri mirch. We're going to add two teaspoons of sugar or to taste. And one tablespoon of kasuri methi, just roughly crushed. You want to see a little bit of color but not too much and you also want it to impart the flavor and mix and once your spices are mixed in well you can try the gravy a little bit and adjust the salt if needed and we'll go ahead and cook this for three to four minutes at this point you're going to add half a teaspoon of garam masala Mix it in and we're going to add in 14 ounces of cube paneer. Now you can cut down the paneer to whatever size and shape you want and mix. And once the paneer is mixed in well, we're going to cover it and let it cook until the paneer gets heated all the way through. So our paneer has been cooking on a medium low, just so it doesn't burn and it has time to heat up. Ooh, perfect. At this point, we are going to now add in two tablespoons of butter and let it melt in. Now the paneer is very soft, uh, so you have to be a little gentle. You don't want to break the paneer pieces. And once the butter melts, we're going to add about three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now this is to taste, so you could add more or less depending on your preference. 
So it's come to a boil, you're gonna turn it off and it's ready to serve. So our butter paneer is ready. Look at it, it looks scrumptious. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, we weren't kidding about the restaurant style, you know, the <laughs> presentation, the taste, the flavors, the look. Amazing. Amazing. Yes. Yep. yep. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> a piece of the paneer. Ooh, the gravy looks so, so good. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Love it. Love it. It's so like it's mild yet mm -hmm. flavorful. Right. You know, both both like in one shot. Mmm. Yummy. And I love the balance of the you know that little bit of sugar. It doesn't make it sweet, but it balances out the tartness of the tomatoes mm -hmm. because it's primarily tomatoes, right? right? And it just does wonders for this. Paneer by itself can be a little bland, blah. So the, this, along with the gravy, to die for. Don't have to go to the restaurants anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you when you could make this at home? It's amazing. So if you like this recipe and you'd like to see more from us, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so that anytime you post a video, you're the first one to know. Absolutely, and be sure you give us a big thumbs up, a like, that helps us out a lot. And if you decide to try this out, please leave a comment and let us know what you think about it. Mm -hmm. And join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.